Hello, and welcome back to the Paper Mario Pro Mode stream. What you just witnessed is me finishing the <laughs> Goomba King rematch. I uh, made a quick save state. I actually got double star points thanks to the uh, spell from Merle, so in the end... It all went well. So apparently there is some kind of a, uh, a glitch. Which uh, causes the battle to glitch out when you win or lose. If you hit the tree. The, uh, the Goomna tree. Let's see. Uh, a person called Swordfest slash Olmi helped me uh, uh, discover that one. So thanks. Much appreciated. This means we can finally continue on, but as I was researching the issue, I did find out a couple things. For example, the Peach Beam uh, is kind of an essential part of defeating some of these bosses, because the Peach Beam clears off the uh, buffs that enemies have. Like, uh... When I uh, when you use it in the base game, it can actually clear off the uh, hyper goombas uh, and hyper clefts charge. Next to, of course, using it against Bowser. Uh, but I didn't think it would be useful in these battles. But apparently, these are kind of post game things, which is why I've decided that maybe I should just go ahead and. Uh, do a few more final things and then start on the finale. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but we can always try. We like making progress and the last stream was kind of uh, just uh, messing about. Let's just check if everything's working. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it. Hope the audio of my voice is not too loud. Can be a bit hard to find a balance between uh, too quiet and too loud. Double dip can be an interesting item. But yeah, you'll have noticed in that uh, um, Goomba King battle. It took ages to finally whittle him down because he had permanently buffed defense. Which would be unfair, or well unfair is a strong word, but which would be kind of uh, annoying. But if you, if we would have had the, uh, the beam from all the star spirits, we could have used it. Well, first things first, let's clear off the seventh, uh, the seventh challenge the Boo has to offer. Yeah, that should be fine. And after we do that... We're just gonna go into the uh, final chapter and see what it has for us. Because I assume he'll actually have a chapter 8 challenge too. I wonder how this will go. Because yeah, I think the uh, the beam can actually stop enemies from being transparent, like the way that Magikoopa is now. Haha. Uh, not haha. Well, this is a bit awkward. Well, let's just throw up a water block like we always do. Let's just, uh... I should probably not make a habit out of that. Uh, 
But we've seen the refresh so many times in this playthrough. Uh, for good measure, I should probably go back and count all the times we used it, but... I won't. <laughs> Alright, the Magic Koopa is down. Which leaves this... Uh... It's kind of interesting to see... Uh... Enemies that aren't normally transparent. Like you see that there's a bit of his, a bit of the uh, stalk from the piranha plant going behind his head. It's interesting. All right, let's take this guy out. Oh. <clears throat> Speaking of that battle I did off-screen, I also bought the uh, the badge that makes you, allows you to save two FP. So very soon we're gonna be using that. Anyway, this should be the hardest challenge challenge we've had so far. I wonder if uh, decreasing the FP cost will make certain effect, certain and attacks just uh, free. I want the gulpits out of here first because they are the most dangerous. For that reason, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's pretty easy to see which enemy is more dangerous here. Of course, Gulpit becomes harmless once his rocks run out, but it takes a while. Ah, uh, Bombat can handle this. Kind of happy to see we're still getting star points from these enemies, so we can uh, we can probably level up. There we go. We haven't seen this one in a while. Maybe I should have just done a uh, smooch. Let's go full HP. Because our FP is doing pretty well. Well, never mind. We can always do it later. Ah, we've moved on to the Crystal Palace enemies. Nice! I might have tried to heal in this battle, but I've decided to be very aggressive because we can level up. Yep. Ah, right, we've actually reached max BP. That's something to consider. I hadn't even realized. Since we're going to work on saving FP, we can probably afford getting some uh, some extra HP in. These enemies probably won't be worth anything anymore now. I wonder if the two uh, two magic Koopas will run away, because you don't usually see two of them in one battle. Oh, they're still worth a star point. Interesting. Well, thanks, Merli, but no thanks. Oh. 
We're past half over halfway there. Time for an air raid. I'm definitely happy I get to experience uh, a bit more of that Chapter 7 flavor before we're moving on. I really love the backgrounds and the enemies. But I've gushed enough about Chapter... Well, there you, you can't really ever gush enough about Chapter 7, can you? But... I think I've said everything I needed to say to... Uh, Articulate why I like them so much. Th that door in the background, like that slightly askew angle it's at, makes me think of Luigi's Mansion a bit. Was a bit too late on that one. Considering how much damage this will do, uh, the power jump wasn't really necessary. But it's just in a 1 FP loss, so... I can tell you one thing, I don't want any enemies turning transparent here. So let's make sure it doesn't happen. And he's down. Ouch. Gonna keep buffing him, huh? Well, no problem. Though we may need to think about healing a bit next uh, turn. Ah, uh, there is the infamous albino dino again. Okay, let's get Cloud9 up. Oh. 
Okay, very good. Right between the eyes. I hope you don't mind me uh, speeding these little bits up a bit. I don't mind them particularly, but I don't want to waste your uh, your time, if possible. This fella has some pretty high defense. That just means we need what? Alright, we can take him out. Ah, nice. <laughs> Not necessary, but appreciated. And there we go, that's challenge number seven. Repel gel, nice. And by nice, I mean, couldn't you have given me something better? <laughs> nah, it's fine. Repel gel is still a useful uh, thing. It's like Clyde. Uh, Clyde? It's like Cloud Nine, but certain to work. Right, so here's what I'm thinking. We're going to go uh, to Bowser's castle. 